So that's why there's a formula that's derived. And you can actually drive it yourself too, uh, relatively easily from, I believe, a simple consideration. So it's a formula that relates these quantities to each other. So I already labeled one of those quantities, focal length. The other two quantities, uh, let me get rid of this. The other two quantities are the object distance, uh, usually labeled DO. I think we were using this label last time for something a little bit different. And the third quantity is the image distance. So it's a geometry question. Uh, um, so how do you relate these one, two, three variables? There's a one single equation that'll have all those three things in it. So it'll, so normally you would know the focal length, you would determine the object distance, and then from that you can get the image distance. Um, so I mean, you, when you have all this figure, hopefully you have a sense that you do have all the information here. This is a completely determined system. The only thing that's remaining is for you to go through the geometry and from the geometry sort of work out that expression. So let me do it this way. Um, so I'm going to draw a few triangles that I feel will be useful to me. Um, I feel that um, this triangle Let's see. I feel that this triangle will be useful to me. Any guesses why? We have the yeah, I know one side, DO um, object. So I guess I better label this. This would be the height of the object. So H O. So it's you know it's a, a triangle where I know some of the sides and this is related to what this is. And let me label one more triangle that I feel would be useful to me. And I guess it's the counterpart to this. I am going to draw this one. This triangle here. This is another right triangle. So D I is known or it's labeled there. And I guess this is the height of the image, right? So let me call this um, HI. Um, let me give this some thought. Uh, right now, I'm just doing geometry. So in geometry, it's a length, so everything is positive. Um, there's something I'm missing here. Mm. What am I missing? Oh, I don't have any triangle that involves the focal length. I need to have a triangle that in involves focal length. So, hmm. I guess this is the only triangle that does that. Right? This triangle involves the focal length and this height that we already labeled. Um, Oh, you know what? Uh, let me backtrack. I don't think this will be all that useful. Um, will it be useful? Um, we could start out with it. Uh, let me start writing down equations and see where that goes. So with all these labels, um, well, let me start writing down equation and then I will see what, am I, what I'm missing. So these two triangles share this one side. So that lets me say this. Um, I guess I need to start labeling some angles. I have this angle. Let me label the theta 1. And I have this angle. Let me label the theta 2. So what I can say is um, d naught times tangent of theta 1. 
t o sorry o times tangent of theta one, which will give me this height here, is equal to the focal length times tangent of theta two. So focal length times tangent of theta two. All right, I have two unknowns, one equation. That's a little hopeless. So I think my goal will be trying to get rid of these angle thetas. Um, so I'm staring at this, looking at, all right, what else has angle theta two? And I see this triangle here that should have the same angle theta two. Right? And uh, let's see, I have the height labeled as hi, so let me leave that there. Um, can, do we, can we write down an expression for this? What is it? Yeah, di minus um, f. All right, so we can say that tangent of theta two is equal to the height over this, hi over di minus f. Or I guess I could um, keep this on. So it's focal point, focal length times tangent of theta two. So hi over di minus f. All right, I still have two unknowns. I have hi and theta one. So that didn't really help me, did it? Um, can I write down one more equation that in, doesn't introduce any more unknown? Maybe has only hi in it. Maybe has only tan theta one in it. From two similar triangles. Which similar triangles? So this is a tri similar triangle one. What's the other one? Yeah, it's a, this other triangle here. They are similar triangles. Stare it long enough, then you can convince yourself. You know these angles are the same. It's right triangle, so the other angles must be the same. So it's similar. So you can write down the ratio of these sides are equal because it's similar triangle. You can say um, let's write it down. This way, D not, DO over HO, DO over HO is equal to DI over HI, which means uh, we could have solved this for HI and plug it in there. When we do that, this is what we get, F times, uh, I should actually solve it for HI. So HI is equal to um, DI over DO times HO. So this is um, F times di over do times ho. I think I did something with the ho earlier. Ho was related to tangent theta one. So in fact, I think this entire expression was supposed to be ho, right? Do times tangent of um, theta one. So, okay, so what I have is, oh wait, I skipped something, right? Yeah, I, okay, yeah, yeah, let me write that in. Times di minus f. All right, so, okay, let me write down the cleaned up version. So this is the cleaned up version that expresses what I've been saying out loud, that ho is equal to all of this. F times di h o over d o times di minus f. So you see that height of the object cancels out. I don't have to worry about it anymore. And wow, this is one complicated expression. So you could, if you hate fractions, you could, so one is equal to that. So if you hate fractions, you could rewrite it this way. DO times DI minus F is equal to F times DI. <laughs> um, not that simple, right? 
So let me um, write out, expand out the left hand side and uh, one way to simplify this expression will become visible. Uh, when I expand out the left hand side, it's a DO times DI. Um, um, and it's minus DO times F. I'm going to move that off to the other side. So DO times DI is equal to F times DI plus um, F times DO. F times DO. I don't know if anyone notices the thing I'm noticing. You have three variables. These are all possible combinations of multiplying only two out of the three together. So if you take this and multiply the whole thing by one over product of all three, one over F DO DI, then for each one of those terms, two out of three will get canceled out. And when you do that, you get this whole thing is equal to this is DO and DI cancel out, and you get one over F, one over focal length is equal to Focal length and image distance cancels out. So one over object distance plus, and so focal length and object distance cancels out. So one over image distance. It's a remarkably simple expression that you are going to use a lot. <coughs> so this expression represents the same mathematics, the same information as what you got with ray tracing, except this is a geometry and art project, um, this is an algebra problem. So this, for many of you, this will be so much easier than this geometry project. But th these are two different ways of representing the same thing. I want you to be able to switch back and forth between the two. In fact, I'm going to make a new assignment that's uh, strictly about ray tracing. Uh, I'll, when I have it posted, I'll send an announcement. But for most of the homework problems you will work on, that's due on Tuesday, um, this uh, will be one of your most useful expressions. And I did this for lens. It uh, works for mirror as well. I'm just not doing it here because the figure will just be so messy <laughs> that I don't want to do it. But, um, but uh, this relationship holds exactly the same for mirror as it does for lens.